Okay, so I'm here with Sabrina at the softball game, and uh, I've gotten her permission to record her. Okay, so Sabrina, yes. are you a citizen of Canada? Yes. Okay, do you like being a citizen of Canada? Yes. Okay, so you like being citizen Sabrina of Canada? I guess so, I've never thought of it that way. Okay, but, but if you think of it, so you like being a citizen of Canada, so yes. that makes you citizen Sabrina of Canada, right? I guess so. Okay, so you like that, right? Yes. Okay, so now what would you think, what do you think about being shareholder citizen Sabrina of Canada? I think that sounds weird. It sounds weird? Yeah. Okay. Strange. Okay. Uh, to be, because a shareholder is more of a possession. Okay. And so to have the possession of the whole country, I guess it makes sense in a way, but also it's a different dynamic in my mind okay. to be a shareholder than to be a citizen or like a part of something else. Okay. So what about, so if you think of it like you're a citizen, right? And everything, you're a citizen of Canada, everything yeah. that means to you right now today, yeah. right? And you add, so you get all those benefits of being a citizen of Canada, and you add to it being a shareholder of Canada. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Isn't that kind of already what it is, owning property and such? No. That's being a property owner. Yeah, but that's... But this is being like a... Sh okay, so, you, so you know what a citizen means, being a citizen, right? Like you get to come and go from Canada and you they can't keep, they can't not let you into the country and you, uh, you, know, you can use the medical system and you... Um, All the benefits. A doctor, whatever, right? And to be a shareholder, like... So when you're a shareholder of a corporation, a yeah. corporation has to operate, it's fundamental, number one job is to make a profit, okay? That's the number one thing. And then the, but then as a shareholder of that corporation, you expect that corporation to operate and do things in the best interest of its shareholders. Yes. Okay, that's an expectation you have as a shareholder. Yes. Whereas a citizen, you don't expect the government to do the You best should thing. already expect the government to do that, though. Okay. You, you should, as the government, uh, for a democracy like we have in Canada, you vote in the government that you feel will support and do what is right and best for its citizens. Okay. So it already has that encompassed. Okay. But it, okay. So it's it's pretty much just adding something that should already be there in the first place. Okay. But technically it's not actually there, right? Like people get elected and they do whatever they want. Right? But that's the way it is. You're not going to change that much because in large corporations that the same way, they get in there and they do whatever they want. It's the same. It's yeah, except Equivalent. there's one difference. The difference is that they have to do things that benefit the shareholders. But Canada does as well. The, so government, better, well. the government has to benefit the country in order to keep the country going, in order to support everyone in it. Right? Yeah. Well, not exactly, but anyway. But kind of. Well, we wish it worked that way, but it doesn't. Right? I mean, like they but still... it doesn't in a lot of shareholders as well. Uh, well the, because the tops of the companies don't always benefit the shareholders. It's supposed to, but